Imagine this. Breakfast in New York, lunch in London. For nearly three decades, that was possible, thanks to a sleek white jet that soared faster than the speed of sound. This is the story of the Concorde, the dream that redefined air travel, why it vanished, and how a new generation led by Boom Supersonic is bringing it back. The Concorde was more than a plane. It was a Cold War era moonshot. In the 1960s, Britain and France joined forces to challenge the laws of physics and geopolitics, building the world's first supersonic commercial airliner. It was a marvel. Mach 2 speed, 60,000 foot cruising altitude, and Rolls-Royce turbojet engines. At those heights, you could see the curvature of the Earth. It became a status symbol. A ticket cost over $10,000 in today's dollars, but the Concorde was always fighting gravity and economics. Concorde's first problem, the sonic boom. That thunderclap-like shockwave limited the jet to oceanic routes, mostly New York to London or Paris. Supersonic over land was banned. The Concorde burned three times more fuel than a Boeing 747. Airlines couldn't justify the price for such a niche route. And then tragedy struck. In 2000, an Air France Concorde hit debris during takeoff, igniting a fatal fire. 113 people lost their lives. Public trust plummeted. By 2003, the Concorde was grounded for good. Aviation's fastest chapter closed, or so it seemed. Today, a startup called Boom Supersonic is reviving the dream. Their aircraft, Overture, is a modern take on supersonic flight, designed for the 21st century. Overture will run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. It's quieter, more efficient, and has a smaller carbon footprint, cutting emissions by up to 80% compared to legacy jets. United and American Airlines have already placed orders. With test flights expected in 2027 and commercial service by 2029, the countdown is on. But what about the sonic boom? That was the Concorde's Achilles heel. Boom's solution? a radical concept called boomless cruise. By flying at the right altitude and speed, Overture can keep the sonic boom from ever hitting the ground. Instead, the shockwave dissipates in the upper atmosphere. To people below, it's silent. That means supersonic flight over land, which was previously illegal, could be a reality again. Overture could fly from LA to DC in two hours without disturbing anyone on the ground. Boom is working closely with regulators to prove boomless cruise is safe and viable. If approved, it could unlock an entirely new market, coast-to-coast -coast high speed travel. Supersonic travel once changed the world. It might do it again. Will Overture succeed where Concord fell short? Only time will tell. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. See you next time in our next deep dive into the future of transportation.